Hello everybody, excellent rider here. Um, this is a video about the day four off-road centre which I went to today, just in watch it in Somerset. And this is my, my views on it really. I've got it's quite a long video. I was gonna do it in two parts, but I just thought just get out there and do it all in one hit. Um, so just as an in introduction, I've got my list here. In introduction, um, we had to be at Watch It for nine o'clock, and um, basically you meet at a pub uh, called the Rally's Cross Inn, and that's where they they uh, keep the bikes, and we sort of meet in the car park, um, put all the gear on, which uh, consists of some knee pads and uh, some like trousers and uh, body armour on top, um, and and also some like a jumper. We got given a choice of two bikes. It was either the CR, uh, the Honda CRF 250 or the CRF 450L. Um, they, they were both great bikes. My advice to you is that if you've ridden bikes before, even if you're on a, on a 125, um, then you can basically, I should just go straight for the 450 because there's not a lot of difference, but the, the 450 has got a bit more grunt. So safety wise, we had a quick safety meeting and it really was quick, it, it's quite, nice um I, i've been to some of these places where they overkill the, the safety briefing and it puts you on edge the video starts halfway through the day uh, because it was absolutely chucking down with rain in the morning and i didn't want to get my camera uh wet and, and risk it going wrong so what i do is at the end i'll just put my overall thoughts of the day um and, and any advice i might have for you one thing I nearly forgot to say um, was I was nicknamed Satnav on the day. What happened was in the morning we all went out and within the first 10 minutes, unfortunately, uh, somebody came off the, their bike and they, they were directly in front of me actually and, and basically busted their shoulder and um, that was the day over for them, that, that was the end of it. Um, I think he was okay, he was going to be okay but he just couldn't ride anymore. So basically I pulled him out of the hedge and before I knew it I looked up to get on my bike and everybody had gone. And I still had another sort of four or five people behind me. So they were sort of following me. So I went off on my bike again and uh, I'd done a left and when I should have done a right. And I ended up down, basically it, was, it was, felt like it was driving off of a cliff. Um, <laughs> um, and it, it was it was so steep. It, we were basically riding over boulders um, that were sort of a, about a foot high, but yeah, about a foot high. And it was we'd only just got on the bikes. We'd been on for about ten minutes. And I was thinking to myself, you know, if this is the way it's going to be, then I I don't really want to carry on with this day. Um, but what happened? I just went the wrong way. Um, Dave thought come down. He seemed to come from out of nowhere and just said, you know, stop and turn around. So that's what we've done, and after that I was nicknamed Satnav. So <laughs> thanks for that, Dave. So if you hear Satnav uh, during the, the, the video, then that's just referring to me. All right. And yes, I do come off. Uh, I come off. I came off twice, I think it was, um, but nearly come off about a hundred times. So, uh, but it was really good, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so here it is. Run VT.
works again. I've gone right off you. I said I've gone right off you. Give me a stay of me. Look at that. Who got you wet? No, it's just a puddle going in the puddle and it just splashed right up. <laughs> Give the camera a wipe, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's got three wipe outs down there. <laughs> I thought that one the wrong way because I saw something down above me. Yeah, I did a hose up. This no, stinks I did, I as well. You go in front, alright mate? Sorry? You go in front.
I did, I stalled it twice. Coming down there, I had no engine. So I'm stood on the brake, I find the brake. I find it hard to rest my foot on the brake without applying the brake. I mean, I'm, my, my foot is kind of pushing the brake without knowing it. Yeah. I heard it earlier squeaking as I ride along, going, yeah. and yeah. I'm like, it's really hard it's to keep. Up, yeah. yeah, you've got to really actively try and keep your foot right up. It makes sense. Yeah, I went for that puddle and it just literally come up. It was like, yeah, it's like yeah. someone got this you bucket of water. <laughs> it stinks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did I recover from that? <laughs> well, anyway, did you? that was awesome. Twice. That was awesome. <laughs>
can then. This is cover the can then. Almost. There we go, through there. I might need a hand here. You're all right, get yours out of the way. Do you want a hand? Need a hand? Sure. All right. For fuck's sake. I wouldn't prepare to come up here. All right, do, do you want me to push up the back? Just me that went over Yeah. You all right? Yes, thank you. You all right? Cool, that's all. 
Right. Okay, mate? Yeah. You jump on and I'll hold the bike, alright? I ain't jumping on here. No? No, no, no. We should get it up there, I think. It's too precarious. We should get it up. We need to... Yeah. And then we'll roll it back. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Hold the front brake on. Yeah. You got the front brake, have you? Got the front brake, yeah. Alright, got it. Alright. Well, Alright, you jump me out of the way. Alright, sorry, mate. <laughs> Thank you mate, cheers. Alright, okay. No, I did not oh, like that. that. I'm thinking Jack's off my Christmas card list now. <laughs> I loved it, even though I fell off. I'd rather fall off here than on the road anyway, so... No front brake! No. 
Oh, it's making me nervous watching them actually, I can't watch. Don't use the front brake! It's one of them ones you want to go right down, you don't want to stop. Yeah, I put my back brake on, I just fucking lost it. A couple of them only just caught up now, up the top. <laughs> yeah. It's psychological now, he's stuck. He... Hey. I come down there without the engine speed at the end, it, it conks out, and I'm like freewheeling down that last bit. Well done! Keep going, mate, keep going, look ahead, look ahead, look ahead, look out. Oh, oh. mm. Let go of the throttle. Good stuff, good stuff. I thought we had that, yeah. yeah. Straight in the bracken. <laughs> it was gorse. For him, everyone's watching him. He's like, can you just look the other way? Yeah. He's a bit too steady. Too steady. You fall off. <laughs> okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a super day. Um, the bikes were absolutely, um, you know, in perfect order. Very, very safe. The brakes were brilliant. Um, you can tell that they really maintained them really well. Um, the, the force that I had, I, I've got no injuries. I was fine. I just sort of... Uh, aimed for the, for the softest spot and uh, all turned out okay. Um, would I do it again? Yes, I probably would, um, but they also do one with the Africa Twins, uh, which I would prefer to do. Obviously, it's a bigger bike. It's, it's, um, it's a lot of on-road on stuff with that as well, so and you do need a full license for that as well, which you don't with, with this course that I've just shown you. Were there any bad points about the day? Um, I would say probably not. Um, when you get split into two groups, I, I was able, uh, you know, Dave said, or oh, you can come into Group A if you want, which Group A was, was the people who were a bit, you know, a lot more confident. Um, but I stuck with Group B. Uh, there's a number of reasons for that. I, I, did, I, I felt that um, I was pushing myself enough anyway. Um, so I was quite happy with Group B. Uh, the, the downside to Group B, and, and um, in hindsight, I probably would have gone for Group A, in all honesty. But the downside to Group B was that there, there was a couple of, of guys there which really, really struggled. Um, and what was happening is that everybody else was motoring up um, to the next stop point, and the two guys behind, we, we were just waiting for them all the time. Um, and we probably lost about 20 to 30 minutes of the day just waiting around for these guys to catch up, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but, you know, we, we all took it in good spirits. You know, we, we, we went in that group sort of knowing that that could happen. Um, and it, it was fine. You know, we, we all took it in good spirits and, um, you know, they, they were part of the team at the end of the day. So that's okay. Um, the, the, the course finished about, well, it meant to finish at three o'clock. Um, and then we actually got off the bikes to finish at about 20 past two. Um, we, we was all tired mentally and physically by that point. Um, but I, I probably would have liked that extra 40 minutes if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I kind of thought that three o'clock is when you get off the bikes and then, then, then you go back, um, back, to the, back to the car to drive home. Um, but it wasn't like that, unfortunately. But still, like I say, it, we, I felt I had a full day um, of uh, good riding. Okay, second uh, most important thing for me um, is what's the grub like that they uh, supply? Um, and basically it was uh, cheese and tomato rolls and uh, what was it, coronation chicken. Um, it was okay, it was alright, you know, it's, it was a, a three course meal, which I'm very disappointed about. Uh, no, um, no, it was fine, and uh, we had some, you know, uh, buns as well, cream buns. Um, 
Yeah, so that, that was okay. Uh, that was supplied by the, the Rally Cross Inn. Um, beautiful pub, by the way. If, you, if you're around that area, then it, it's a really nice pub that they've got there. And, and certainly if you've got kids as well, um, it's got a nice little play park there. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It was all right. I wanted to say a quick thank you as well to the cameraman. Uh, he, he wasn't too keen on, on having a camera on, on the side of his helmet in case he uh, fell off and broke it. Um, that was my risk at the end of the day. I asked him to do it, so thanks for that. Uh, the, the day itself was uh, extremely well run. Uh, it, it was very, very organised. The, the, uh, all the gear that we had to wear was, was washed and clean before we even put it on. Um, and it went back very muddy, so they'll, they'll have to clean all that. So. Um, you, what, what you pay for, you, you do get a, a very, very fair deal. Uh, and, and it's not like, I've, I've been on some of these courses where you get on the bikes or quad bikes, I've done a lot of quad biking in the past, and the bikes are absolutely totaled, you know, the back brakes don't work and you get all sorts of problems, but these bikes were in such good order, uh, it, was, it was quite impressive really. And of course they are Hondas as well, so they are pretty much bulletproof. But what, what we put those bikes through that day was, you know, I mean, those CRFs are amazing what they can do. Uh, really, 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 really strong bikes. So impressed with it. Um, and they went back uh, with a, a few broken uh, clutch levers and brake levers, but they went back as good as they come out of the, uh, out of the, out of the lorry. So, yeah, brilliant bikes. Um, overall, it, it's a great day. I also got a, uh, a goodie bag as well, which is... Um, Surprise, surprise, it's full of Honda stuff. So, uh, yeah, I've got a poster. And what else have we got in here? Honda brochures. You know, it might seem a bit tacky, this, but actually, I really quite like this. It's what, what I want to see in a, in a um, goodie bag. So, you've got Honda stickers, which is kids who have them. Um, poster with all the Honda range. An off road book. Not an off road book, an off, off road catalogue. Um, street and touring catalogue. Oh, another off-road one, which is different. Um, and a adventure catalogue as well. That's going to be me seeing on one of them. Um, yeah, brilliant day, and uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please, please like and subscribe. It, uh, it helps me a lot. And um, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.